So what does a multi-channel approach look like? We're talking about a systematic assault here. What, what, what do you mean by multi-channel? Multi-channel means... Okay. Media, right? Media. Yeah. So, so a, 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 channel is, a channel is a way of reaching somebody. Okay. So a channel could be a shop front. It could be the interior of the shop. Okay. It could be a banner advert on a website. Right. So it, it's, there's different ways of delivering a message. Correct. Okay. okay. So we start with the message. Of course. Of course. So let's go through some basics of message design. What right. If you're trying to engage somebody in what you're doing, what would you start with? Well, I'd, I'd probably start with what they're most comfortable with receiving. So, for example, if if someone's not used to telephone, I, the first form of contact wouldn't be me calling them up and saying, hi, here's my service. Um, so, yeah, so I usually state the problem better than they can, than they can state it. Exactly. So you're building rapport, first of all, by, you know, are you concerned about prematurely graying hair? You know, like that's not maybe the best way of kind of stating the problem. But if you can say you've noticed that over time your hair is going grayer early and so therefore you can, you were trying to enter the conversation that's going on in their mind. Interesting. Interesting you say that because on the back of, you know, you know when you read those newspapers and then they've got the sports pages. Yeah. And on the, on the lower, the lower end, at the end of the paper, it's got a title, hair loss. Yes. Question mark. I mean, that just... That, yeah, that message states the problem better than they can say it. Hair loss in uh, and question mark. Correct. You know, and, and that, that just gets... And, 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 you, and you said, like, for example, we'll come into it, but that was the precise place where people generally with that problem would be looking. Right. So you're stating the problem, okay? And then Dean Jackson talks about more cheese, less whiskers. He talks about a mouse. A mouse is programmed to get cheese and avoid whiskers. So what you want to make sure is your message is cheese. It's it's a solution. It's something they want. Right. You don't have to explain it to them. They know. Right, right. So, so it, it, it kind baby of says, food, you call it, it. Well, well, baby food for the brain. That's, yeah. that, that's the term I like to use. But it's like, you don't want to be too flowery with your language. No. Or, or too smart. No. Like, you know, if you have to think about it, it's, 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 you, you've lost it. Right, and you, you, you've wasted money because you've paid for that space, that media, oh, carrying I'm, that message. I, I was driving through Birmingham and I was going round and round about it really quickly and I quickly saw like the corner of one billboard and it was a picture of a teddy bear. I was just making a comment to somebody that they spent millions or thousands trying to get that billboard up there. That's an expensive teddy. Yeah, and I don't even really know what the message was about. Oh boy. So, you know, that's the kind of time, that's the kind of attention fractions that we've got. But if it was hair loss or something like that, you oh, know, you know, right. you, at least you'd get that bit. And then if you were motivated enough, you could then choose how to engage. And this is the key thing, be engaging. Be theatrical. Life is boring. Right, right. I, I just, I just want to say, like, probably out of which one is more important? Out of out of the message and the carrier system, which which one out of the two would you say is is more important? It starts with the message. Right, right, right. Because otherwise, you're just talking techniques and tactics and Cause, empty stuff. Because I remember, I remember um, dealing with robots. I remember hearing once um, Gary Halbert, um, one of the one of the marketers that. Just amazing, amazing legend um, guy, and um, he was saying that you, if, if I think the example he gave was Kate Moss scribbles her number on a on a bent up, um, scrunched up piece of paper. Okay, that number is going to be really, really valuable. It's more valuable than the paper. Yeah. However, if you had, you know, uh, 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 your friend's ugly step aunt. Okay, in, the, in give you the same number, give you a number, her phone number on 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 embossed paper. You know that's going in the bin. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so message is really well. It's it, it's all about what improvement you're offering, what glimmer of hope right. you, are you offering somebody in their harassed daily life. So that's like being the message and being engaging and being useful. Okay, either move the person from pain to, or towards pleasure. You need to drive them because emotions drive decisions right. and you need to trigger their emotions we're emotional creatures absolutely and that's how we make decisions and the key thing is with messages these days you've got so many tools that you can actually test your messages you can do like um testing on pay-per-click to see um on adwords basically to see what what messages people click on more you can look at forum questions to see what pulls you can also then see what gets shared more on facebook so you can do a lot of testing these days so you're trying to see what what your target market are 
are, yeah. surge, are, are putting into their What they're responding to. Right, right. And, that, and that's the key thing. And you want to be also like visually attractive and unique. You want your message to be, just like you said, like on the embossed paper, like okay, that the message wasn't, it was maybe visually attractive, but it you didn't perceive it as being valuable. But if you've got if you've got the right message, it packaged in the right way, yeah, on it, the right it's you you're just you're just you just attracted. Right. You can't help yourself. Of course. of course. You're just drawn. And the second thing is then when if you're drawn towards it, but then it's like an insurmountable way of getting in touch, then you're not gonna do that. So you need to be easy. You need to be like Dean Jackson says like would you like a cookie? If you if, if you come to my house and I say, okay, if you want help yourself to any food, there's some food in the in the in the kitchen, go for it. You'll be like, okay, thank you, but you won't, you won't get up and do anything. Right. But if I go to the kitchen, get a box of cookies and say, would you like a cookie? And give you, like, open the box in front of you. Right. It's very little friction for you to just reach your hand and just pick up a cookie. Right, right. So that's the difference. And it's just a cookie. It's just a cookie. Because now you're like, okay, I'm, hack I'm enjoying the cookie. It was a good cookie. Uh, what else you got? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, that, that, that's, that's the way. So the message design is very important. And the um, engagement scale the, the steps, the, the, the simple friction-free steps. When you, when you say engage... Not even steps, it's an escalator. Okay, okay. So you've got my attention. What are you talking about engagement? What, what, it means that I'm mean? involving myself in, in the process. Right, I'm, right. Not, I'm not a receiver. I'm an active participant. So, so we're turning the client into an active participant. Absolutely. That you have to activate them. Right. You've got to look at that message and think, this is for me. And that gives them a sense of control, which relates to the trust factor, isn't it? Yeah, because then they're like, I'm choosing to listen to you, I'm right. engaged with you. The minute you you, you do something which is incongruent or mi misses it, then they're switched off. Right. But, but you need to make sure that it's like that. So as I say, you need to make sure you communicate the unique sensory package of value that attracts their secret emotional desires the most. So that's the message. So we just talked about that. But what does multi-channel look like? So we can so break this, it so out. So now we've got the message. Now we've got that that message that gives gets the attention, engages them, yeah, and you could wrap it in different dimensions, but essentially it's the same, it's a permutation of the same message. Yes, yes. So what you want to do is you want to then look at like different methods. So you've got like broadcast, interactive, and offline. Okay. These are like very simple ways. You can do, you're looking at like... So we're looking at the same message. I want to same message, that. same message, right. but, but in different ways of engaging with people. Okay. So like... With broadcast, you could be looking at like putting your content, your articles, like in a blog form, out there, and so you're making sure that like there's a lot of information going out there, so then people will be able to find you. You can look at like broadcast in terms of banner adverts, making sure that you're all over the place. You can look at broadcast in terms of like your pay-per-click adverts on Google. You can have videos on YouTube. You can have adverts on Bing. You can have video emails being sent out to your people who've asked about stuff from you before. You can have email questions going sent out to people. You can create PowerPoint presentations and push that out on SlideShare. You know you know how I think more in, more about in terms of broadcast? It's when you put the message in through that media, okay, but you don't necessarily know who is it's like it's more freely available. Yes. Well all this stuff is quite freely available. Right, right. So it's 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 within that way that it's like it's pushed out. Right. There's no talking. It's just pushed out. Mm -hmm. So you broadcast it. So absolutely, like you say. And then you can just look at across the, all the different media. So you've got the PowerPoint presentations, you've got PDFs, you've got video channels, you've got video blogs, you've got guest blogs, you've got articles in magazines. It's not just online. It's all over the place, right. basically. You know, you've got your press releases going out. You've got all that kind of stuff. But all of that would feed in. So if we're going from a broad outlook, it would feed in to a more kind of the customer identifying themselves. Yes. You know, that's, raising, raising their hand. They, saying, that's the whole point of that is right. to get them to raise their hand. Of course. And then that comes to the next step, interactive. Okay. okay. So this is their building engagement. So now they've said, hi, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interested on some level. Yeah, I got, you, I've stopped. I'm listening to you. Right. You got my attention. But they don't want to hear a sales pitch. Right, okay. Okay, what do they, what do they want to hear? We're still, we're still on them. The message is getting a Actually, bit Actually, they don't want to hear anything. They want you. They want to tell you something. Okay. So the best way would be to engage and ask them something. So then they can then say. That's what makes it interactive. Absolutely. Okay, and that's probably where you're going to get the problems that are coming up. What, Act, what's going active on? Active listening. Head? Right. Right. Active listening. So, live webinars, webinars, questionnaires, polls, hangouts chats all these sorts of ways these are all communication pathways so these, these are i mean these are interesting as they are but i always i always have a, a kind of like it's like you've got the focus group 
and you'll ask people, um, you know, would you buy this? It's kind of the problem of a focus group. Right? Yeah. Would you, would you buy this? It's not. It's not a true answer. It's, it's the, the, so, the, the only way to do that is actually put the product there and pretend it was a shop. Right. So you have to. You you kind of have to be smart with the interactive media. Kind of be more like a fly on the wall. Yeah, and, and you're way, way, way far away from the actual purchase thing at this point. You're right. still just building trust and forget trust. You're just trying to find out about them. Right. Right. And so this is what we call response channel optimization. There's different channels they can respond through. How do you optimize the engagement and the conversation through that? And you want the conversation to be as natural and as flow freely. Absolutely. So speed, free flow, information. And then when they ask things, this is where you can leverage your broadcast content because they say, well, how much is this? Say, well, here's a guide we've got. I'm going to send it to you. Because they don't believe you in your, in your lying emails, what you say. But if they read the guide, because everyone else can read the guide and it's freely out there, I trust you. So we're still we're still filtering in. So yeah, the trust the trust is not there. Okay, okay. So what's the what's the next what's the next stage? Really? You have to get deeper engagement. So right. you have to actually have a conversation over time. You have to be consistent. You have to make sure that you actually deliver what you said you would deliver, and that might be just in terms of information, or it might be in terms of like um, an appointment. It's all these sorts of things. But you're still talking online. Okay. But let, me, but let me let me let me interject here. So or or, the, or by phone. Yeah. The, the the client the customer. Did you use the word here information? Mm. Right. So we've done the filtering down. They're qualifying the themselves. Format. They're qualifying themselves. So then we can then give them information that's relevant because we now. Because you're the leader. Your right. position is the leader. Right. So all you're doing is is they, they've said I'm interested. I have the problem, and then I, they're looking at you because you appear to have more information. Right. So you give them more. But because we've been interacting with them or we've seen them. Or, and heard them interacting on the on the media sites. So we can offer information that is relevant. By the time by the time we have you've talked to them ten times right. about a specific problem they have. How many times do you think they've talked to one of your competitors? Probably the same amount. I don't think but, so. But in a but in a kind of diffuse way, not in the controlled. No, I, very few businesses have a systematic communications system in place. Exactly, exactly. But because these, you know, as, as we have, we have on the, They're on all the web, this is on, the web, on the web, we have many tabs open. Yes. So it's obvious that they, they might be looking at ours, you know, looking at our competitors, looking at something else, checking their But if they don't have a systematic way of deepening engagement. Right, and that goes back to what we were saying in the, in the other... Yeah, it's knowing what to say, how to say it, and, and, the, and the vehicles for delivering it and engaging. Consistency. Yes. So they're, they're the different things you have. And then obviously, forget computers, people walk around in the real world too. You look at mobiles, you look at the letters, you look at postcards, you look at like FedEx packages, you look at appointments within a shop for a, a consultation, you look at phone calls, you look at um, geographic direct mail, for example, like um, every, local post, you look at like magazine articles, you look at like all that kind of stuff, you know. Retail, do not underestimate the power of the real world. So we're constantly looking for ways to, to develop, to surround and envelop your target market. Right. I like, I like that word, envelop. Yeah. So that's what a multi-channel approach would look like.